Hi, this is Susan Kennard and uh, I'm speaking to you from my hotel room at The View in Eastbourne where we're at a conference, uh, an energy conference, and I'm going to be speaking tomorrow afternoon. I just had this feeling that I wanted to talk about releasing fear. Now, I know that we've had this uh, climate of the, you know, the American elections, um, and I know a lot of people have found that really difficult uh, with the result or uh, which, whoever they felt should be running a country. And I just want to talk about fear for a little bit, even if there's only a couple of you online. I don't know who is, but it's just three of you, whoever you are. Um, so it's really nice that, that, that people are still here and, and, and present. I've just been on uh, Veterans Radio. I was interviewed on Veterans Radio, and some of you that, that know the work that I do, I do specialise in helping veterans uh, with PTSD. So it's one of my specialisms. And so tonight I was interviewed on a PTSD special uh, because it was 11 11, so it's Veterans Day, and uh, we were talking a lot about fear. And hi, Jacqueline, hi. Uh, so what I wanted to do tonight, just very, very briefly, because I know it's very, very late, and I am speaking at a conference uh, tomorrow afternoon, so I need to be kind of bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, which I'm sure I will be. I wanted to just uh, talk about fear. And uh, hi, Fiona, hello. I don't know whether you're in the hotel just yet uh, or whether you're arriving tomorrow, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, so I want to talk about fear and the reason why I want to talk about that is really there is only fear or love. And so if we're feeling this fear, let's say about the election or about anything else in our life, then what we really need to do is release that fear and work along the emotional scale towards love. Hi now, I, that doesn't mean that we switch immediately from being in fear or being feeling that you're in trauma to feeling this complete bliss. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying it at all, I'm just saying that there is a way that we can actually access uh, these emotions and actually release them and then as we do that we start to learn to accept ourselves a little bit more so the acceptance comes in and the appreciation and then as we become more accepting and appreciative of ourselves and non-judgmental we work towards the emotional scale of love and then when we get to that emotional scale of love it becomes the unconditional love and then we're not in fear there's nothing to fear so um oh hi fiona you're on the fifth floor i'm on the fourth floor <laughs> Um, hi Leslie, hi. Um, John, hi, nice to see you So when we're thinking about that, we're thinking about releasing the fear and we're working towards and moving towards, rather than working towards, we're moving towards an energy of love. And so when we think about going back to, to the election, uh, we're thinking about, we can think about Brexit if we're in the UK or we can think about the American election. But really, really, does it matter? You know, this is quite a controversial thing for me to say, but I create my own reality. I create my own life, and I don't ever really listen to what other people think I should do. It's really coming from within. So you'll find uh, that I'll say, I don't watch the news, I don't read the newspapers. Uh, hi, Leslie, yeah, I'm sorry you can't be there too. Yeah, I'd love to see you. Uh, but hopefully you can come to Sparkle, so that'll be good in December. Uh, so, yeah, so, so basically, you know, if we spend our time uh, watching the news, reading the newspapers, listening to all this stuff, what are we doing? We're actually just feeding any little bits of us that have here, fear within us, we're feeding it. So I'd like to invite you to think about how you feel about these things, how you feel about the election, how you feel about um, Brexit, how do you feel about 
when you watch the news, when you watch people being blown up, whatever, what happens to you? Do you feel it within your energy field? Do you feel it within your body, let's say? What happens? Do you start to kind of sit on the edge of your seat? I know that many, many, many years ago, I stopped watching any programs that made me feel tense. Why would I want to watch them? Why do I want to lower my vibration and my energy to that point? I just want to keep my energy raised. I want to feel amazing. I want to feel excited about life. I don't want to be thinking about, you know, watching a horror movie or someone killing someone. It really does nothing for me at all. <laughs> nothing at all. So I don't really, I don't really understand um, why people subject themselves to watching the news 24-7 or getting news updates on their phone. You know, why do we need that? What I've found is that what I need to know comes to me. Oh, Fiona is saying, I gave up soap operas. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. I remember the year, years ago when I used to watch Coronation Street and EastEnders. Oh, my goodness. How I felt afterwards was absolutely awful. So, you know, those things, are, I feel on some level, are kind of meant to feed our fear and meant to feed our pain. Because when we're in that, imagine, you know, imagine you've got all these people in the world that are responding to fear and pain. What control have you got over the world if people are in fear? Incredible control. Whereas if we're in our empowerment and our alignment with our mission and who we are and we are creating our own experience and our own reality from a place of love and understanding, then, you know, isn't that a much better world? Isn't that a lighter world? Isn't that a place where we can actually spread that rather than actually feed into the fear of Fiona saying, uh, I used to get worried for the characters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it, isn't it, Fiona? It's like, you know, the characters playing it. Yeah, they're just playing a role, so that's fine. And they go home at the end of it and hopefully they don't uh, hang on to that role of uh, the murderer or the drama or whatever's going on. But who knows, they might do you know but yeah Fiona is talking about soap operas uh Paula you just joined hi Paula are you at the conference I don't know if you are anyway if you are say hi uh so yeah so basically you know what what I'm talking about here and have been for the last few minutes is about fear and about our understanding of of why we feel that what is it that stops us from just feeling completely at peace when we have these elections going on it, it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter at all what outcomes there are the outcome comes from within and the best person that can create an amazing out outcome for your life is you no one else can no one can tell you what to do you know, it's not about that. It's, it's We were never meant to be run by one person. You know, we were meant to come here and create and experience the joy of life. And we certainly, hi Janice, we certainly weren't meant to be ruled by one person. And it just, you know, some of my family can't believe the way I think, but I just can't think that way. I just can't hand over my power. I just, it, to me, it's... It's just ridiculous to hand over your power to someone else. Why would you do that? So I'd just like to invite you to think about um, where you might hold fear. If you think about something and it makes you feel fearful, where do you hold that in your body? And then when you hold it in your body, when you feel it, when you watch something on the news or you choose to read a newspaper or you hear of something shocking that's happened, really notice where you feel it in your body. Because that's where you're holding a vibration of fear. And that's where you need to release it. So the ways that we can release fear, many, many other ways that we can release fear. But one of the ways that we can uh, release fear is using EFT. And I know that my good friend and colleague Fiona does EFT videos. I'm not actually going to do that with you. I'm going to do something which is just one of my things. So... If you've all got, maybe you can feel a little bit of fear in 
in your um, body. Uh, you can use EFT if you want to, which is tapping to release that fear. Or we're just going to do something really quick, just for a couple of moments before I go to sleep. So I just want you to close your eyes. Okay, good. And just ground your feet. And just imagine those roots going far down into the ground. Into the earth energy. Excellent. Good. And then imagine all that energy coming right the way up to your chest. Up to your throat, up to your head. And then imagine it shooting up into the universe. Just imagine that cord of light going up into the universe. And if you've just joined, hi David, if you've just joined, we're just going to release some fear. So just ground your feet if you miss that. Just put your roots into the ground. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart if you can. And just send that right up to the universe. So we're connecting with the universal love as well as the love from the ground, from earth energy. Good, okay, so just connect if you have a little bit of um, awareness in your body about where you might be holding fear. And just connect with that fear. So what colour is that? So I click my fingers because we're going from that part of the brain to that part of the brain. And the uh, brainstem and the reptilian brain and the amygdala is where we hold all of that fear, that fight or flight, that kind of old belief that we're running from tigers so it's one of the things that, that happens to us we go into this uh, fight or flight freeze response with fear so where do you feel that what color is it and then tell me what color it is in a moment and then I just want you to imagine because you are the healer for yourself no one can heal you you have the ability to access your own inner healer so I want you to imagine that from the top of your head above your head there's beautiful sparkling golden white light and it's coming all the way down through your head into your arms and into your hands and put your hand wherever you feel that fear. Just take a moment to put your hand wherever you feel that fear and then just imagine that you could just shoot all of that beautiful golden sparkling light into that area, into that colour, into that fear and just imagine it diffusing and spreading out, just releasing that fear. And if you need some more, just imagine some more beautiful golden sparkling light, which is the highest vibration I'm told by my guides. Use that golden light and just Imagine it going into that place in your body, into your energy field. Just expand that. So it's no longer a dense piece of energy, a stuck piece of energy, which is stopping you from really feeling that more love for yourself and more love for the world and the universe. Hi Jenny, hi, you're welcome. Hi River. So just connect with that and just comment and uh, come back to me when you feel ready um, just open your eyes and come back to me and write whatever you uh, want to write tell me the colors and I can tell you what emotionally that means uh, one of my processes is uh, color energy clearing and uh, I teach that process along with eight others in my sparkle to success training so I'll just tell you the colors uh, when you type it in. So I'm, I'm broadcasting from the hotel room where I'm speaking at the conference tomorrow. It's a two-day energy conference and it's the European Energy Conference. And I speak, I've speak. i been speaking for four years now and I'm very excited because I'm actually... Um, the speech at the end of Saturday before we go uh, to dinner and then have a party. And uh, so I'm going to be speaking about the illusion of disconnection. So, Janice, grey is shock. Fiona, green is the heart. So Janice with grey, uh, John, grey, okay, so it's, that's shock. So that means that there was a shock that happened in your life. And if you just now, I'll click my fingers, the ones that have got the grey, and I'll just click my fingers and just tell me 
what number is in there. Just quickly have a look at the number and then write it down for me on on the um, back up. Black ups. I don't know what that is. Oh, black. Okay, so black is very old energy now. It's um, quite often it's birth or during pregnancy, growing in the womb or conception, but often it is past life as well. So it's kind of something we brought in with us or ancestral beliefs that we brought in with us. So like a lineage or um, epigenetic thought. Okay, uh, right, I'm going to do all of these. Right, Janice, eight. So think, you know, try and access something that happened when you were eight, but you don't need to know. You can just either use EFT to tap it away or some other processes. Um, three, yeah, so blue is about communication, Paula. So blue is very much about uh, communicating, being heard, or the fear of speaking your truth from your heart. If it's dark blue, then it's other people's ways of communicating. So perhaps a way that you've uh, picked up along the way from your parents or from uh, teachers or so on. So John 4, it, look at the age. So uh, quite often, uh, if we can go back to that, we can actually clear that first point. Uh, I call it disconnection. So the feeling that you felt disconnected to your inner guidance and your knowing. Um, but we can call it fear as well. Okay. So anybody else want to share their colour? I know it's getting late now. Excuse me, yawning. It's gone midnight. So I'll just stay on for another couple of moments. If anybody wants to. Oh. Oh, bless you, Paula. Um, possibly why I'm not at the conference. Oh, bless you. You didn't have to speak at the conference. You could have just come. <laughs> you could have just come. Derek, hi, you missed the process, but go back over um, and listen to uh, go through the process and then message me. I'm at a conference at the moment uh, in, in Sussex, in East Sussex, where I'm speaking tomorrow. So I might not reply immediately, but I will definitely reply to you. And just tell me uh, what you found from that process and I'll answer your questions the best I possibly can. Yeah, Paula, well, you should be at the conference. It would be great. It would be great to have you here. So if nobody else has got any... Um, Fiona, what was your number? Are you still there? Uh, Fiona Dilston, what was your number that came up? And that might be something that you want to look at. And if you, when you listen to my presentation tomorrow afternoon I'm going to take you through a, a deep a deep process so um, it might be worth you kind of doing the process on that okay right I'm going to love you and leave you very soon because I'm really tired now <laughs> but I felt I haven't been on for a couple of days because I've been really busy uh, with my children and with clients and uh, preparing for this presentation uh, doing my slides and so on, so I uh, just haven't had the time uh, to pick up the phone and do a live video. But I felt really strongly that I would do it, and I may do one tomorrow night as well. I may even do some at the conference, I never know, I'll see how I feel. Anyway, um, much love, talk to you soon, feel free to share this, it might help somebody else, and uh, talk to you soon. <laughs>